Hello everyone, this is Jayant. There are two things that I want to spread to the world today from my academy. Number one, I'll start with a question. Are you being yourself? There is a gap that I gave. Ask yourself this question. Are you putting a lot of makeup? I'm not speaking about the physical cosmetic makeup. I'm speaking about the mental makeup that you put up in order to impress people. Are you a person who is not being yourself? Are you not listening to your gut feeling? Do you feel a lot of guilt nowadays? Do you think it is right by not being yourself in this world? Or do you think it is okay to manipulate people by being what you are not? I have certain examples that I want to share. I have a friend of mine who is in love with a girl. His mother knows that he is in love with that girl. And the mother doesn't want him to get married to her. But he purposefully wants to avoid that awkward conversation with his mother. Mother also, whenever the conversation about the girl pops up, she avoids it. Do you think this is cheating? I call it as cheating. Should you not share what you genuinely feel about that person? In workplaces, there is a limitation to the conversation that you can have. Outside world, in colleges with friends, there is a limitation to the conversation that you have with a person. Are you bringing the same limitation in your own home? Is that what we call a home? Is not home a place where you have to have that awkward conversations or conversations that are very genuine but not awkward? Whom else are you going to speak about? about these topics. So can I call this cheating? Second instance. I have a person who wanted to become an artist, a theatre artist. He joined a course called engineering. He spent four years of his engineering life every day fretting about it. Every day he went to the college thinking about why did I join this course? Why did I join engineering? He knew that his parents were spending money unnecessarily. But because of their force, he had to do engineering. He did not have that innate guts to go and tell them that I don't want to pursue this course and I want to become an actor. I call this cheating. Next. If you are working in organizations or office and you took a leave, we, we usually do this. We tell people smaller lies, smaller cheatings. We have the small integrity problem that we don't want to be honest. Are you being yourself? Are you putting up different drama costumes, the imaginary drama costumes to impress people? different costumes with different people then who are you actually today you are living for your wife tomorrow for your mother from morning 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock for your boss and then for your siblings and then for your children and then for your grandparents and then for your special friends then when will you be you then when will you listen to your innate gut feelings that is asking you to be yourself. Speaking about cheating, there is this uh, normal, um, regular cheating that happens. I asked a friend of mine during college days, I asked him, um, why do you often lie in your home and cheat your parents and tell them that you had special class 
you had uh, tuitions you had coaching class and avoided going home and you told your parents that uh, you had coaching and stuff and actually went out to trips went out roaming around and wasted all their money and your money too i asked him did you actually really feel happy about doing this he said uh, he felt happy roaming around but when he was roaming around and when he was spending money he had that a uh, cornered guilt in his heart which always poked him and said this is not what you do the guilt always said him that you are spending your parents money or you are what you are doing is wrong so at the end of the day after coming back home when he said when he met his parents he lied but he cannot lie to himself call that cheating there is one more form of cheating that is very profound that i have realized that is if my friend had actually told his parents that i actually did not have any coaching classes or tuitions or special class i actually went out with a girl to roam around and i'm really sorry i feel very bad to do that confessing the same thing to parents is also cheating why i'll tell you were you really happy when you were roaming around were you really happy cheating them yes you were then when you are telling to your parents that you were cheating tell them i was really happy when i was cheating you that is being truthful you cheated someone who is very close to you or someone or your best friend or your close friend or your partner do you go to them and tell that i really cheated you my feelings sad no who do you go to them and accept and tell them i was happy cheating you these 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 are the points that made me to cheat you and did you confess with them and did you tell them oh my god now you will be worried what is the consequence if it happens like this did you go and tell your boss in the organization i felt very happy lying to you when i took that leave last month or will you go to your boss and say boss i'm really sorry i lied to you by taking that leave and i'm really sorry i feel very bad for that you actually felt happy by taking that leave did you not so will you go and accept it can i call that actually being truthful yes it is so what is this why is this uh, i am speaking so much about this concept of being yourself being very genuine being that core person that you are over and over period of time when you have modified yourself conditioned yourself to become uh, a person who is not yourself who have become a duplicate was being poisoned or if i can call this you have become a venomous snake you have become manipulator you have become a politician you cheat people you manipulate people for your gains for that salary for that relationship for that love for that gift for that income incentive for that happy moment that you want to spend have you not manipulated people don't you call that cheating is that what you call being yourself answer me few questions so why is it necessary to be yourself there is a sanskrit shloka that says manasyekam vachasyekam karmanyekam ekatmanah which means what do you think in your mind what comes out of your mouth and the actions related to these two what comes out of your mind what comes out of your mouth and what action that you undertake should be aligned it should be same then you will reach the god this is not a video about reaching the god 
I just quoted this shloka because it was apt for this video. Do you want to be a person who want to cheat? What will happen if you are not being true to your gut feeling, inner core? Why do you think there is problem of anxiety, panic attack? Over and over it leads to depression. Can I call? Can I call? The root cause of all this is starting from that small lie that you started certain decades before. And you felt it's okay to lie and manipulate people. Can I call it? I cannot totally go and say this is the only reason for depression. But I can say this is one of the most profound reasons for your suffering. Start by this. Think about the consequences that will happen from tomorrow if you are a truthful person. Are you losing your job? Are you losing your friend? You might be fired. You might be fired from your relationship. Or your partner, friend or boss might understand you. But what will it lead to over a long term? Probably a decade later. As you will be a person who will be dependable. People will look out you for anything and everything that they need because they know that with this person I can have a genuine conversation. With this person I can have a genuine relationship. This person I can trust. I think that is about how to be yourself. Do you want to be yourself? So these are some of the things from Jain's Academy about being yourself. The second thing that I wanted to tell you in today's video is criticism that comes in life. People are critical all over. Have you ever seen people throwing stones at a dog that is dead? People never throw stones at a dead dog. What does that mean? Do you mean to say that People throw stones at important people. Yes. Have you seen people sacrificing animals like lion and tiger for worship? Or have you seen hens and smaller innocent animals which wouldn't attack back are being worshipped, sorry, sacrificed and cut and made into pieces? For the worship. I have never seen a lion being sacrificed for a worship. I have never seen a tiger being pulled and dragged and given for a sacrifice. What is that I am trying to tell? People throw stones at important people only. Are you being criticized everywhere you go? In your office, in your workplace, in your college, in your home, in your surroundings, in your neighborhood? in your community too. Then you should understand one thing. There is a small insecurity problem with the vagabonds, rogues and vulgar people. They have this problem that is their way of praising you is by criticizing you. Please understand this. These people who critic, criticize you are those people who cannot directly praise you for what you are. They are the people who praise you through their unwanted, uncertain criticism. Am I meaning to say that all criticisms are bad? No. You should never consider all criticisms that people put across as bad. But there are certain unreasonable critics, criticism that people does upon you. So such criticisms, you should identify and understand that they are actually praising you. So the next time when you are bullied, attacked, attacked in the sense, through their criticism, you should understand that they are trying to praise you for you being yourself, for you being important. 
so these are the two things that i wanted to tell you from giants academy be yourself it's difficult choice nothing comes free of cost it's not easy to be yourself but would you want to lead a life that is filled with guilt or would you want to lead a life that is not filled with guilt but contentedness and happiness i also do not want to emphasize and say go ahead and be rude don't be diplomatic show your attitude to people no all i just wanted to say is the next time when you are standing in the queue and somebody barges in the queue when you are ordering for a coffee and they try to barge in front of you and want to order ahead without standing in the queue while you are waiting for 20 minutes for that cup of coffee stop them and tell them come in the queue i want you to speak for yourself i want you to speak to protect yourself i want you to be yourself hard choice but do it subscribe to giant secret